Now, oh, welcome back. Um, this video will be talking about we'll be going straight to um, how to integrate Club Connect API for airtime into the VBP software that is the virtual business portal software. So, we will be doing videos on other APIs also. So, as we integrate. We would um, show you how to how to get it done so that you will be able to integrate that yourself alone. So um, I'm just going to go straight without beating about the bush. So right now, to configure the airtime API, only we need to do is to go to the recharge app. So we just click on recharge um, APIs for airtime recharge. You understand? So you can also have um you can have multiple apis you understand you can have multiple apis but remember that only one can be active at once only one of them can be active at once only one of them can be active at once it's very important for you to know that because you know uh so that you'll be able to track transaction is is um easily you can backtrack to the club connect um, dashboard and see if a transaction is pending or connected sorry or sent successfully or things like that because um you might you are gonna get that you know you are not the one controlling the network you understand so um like we have always done this has been configured already but i'm gonna explain the way it is because if you have to create a new one all you have to do is just click on add api you understand then you continue with that you you, you get my point but you can't right now it won't be that way it won't be that way for you now so we'll have to create um we it won't be that way for us now so because we have already created the api there so we, i will just explain a thing or two and um so that we are going to be we, we, we are going to fully understand so um um the first thing api name does not really matter what you named it but it's always good to name it um the provider you are getting your um airtime from so um for this api url this api url is very important it's very important in the sense that that's what the system use that's what the system will use to um do the airtime recharging you understand so um it's straightforward it's simple so i'm just going to remove these and put in a template that we have already so that i'm going to explain the template uh in bits so um i'm just going to show us um the raw string from the raw api from uh, club connect then um, it says nellobytesystems.com slash api airtime view1.tsp blah 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 well where we are actually concerned about is this is your user id and um the other part which is your api then the other part which which is a uh, mobile network codes and um, the other part that says other amount and the other part that says uh, recipient number and the other part that says request id and the other part that says callback url so all these parts you know as requested by um the api would be provided you understand it has to be provided it's very important for us to provide it so it's gonna it's a it's a simple configuration there so i'm just going to copy this or I'll just compare this with what we have there. You understand? So right now, we have something like this on Nellobyte also. It says you have your user ID, which is CK, start from CK123, blah, blah, blah. Then your API key. Then now your network code. So for Nellobyte, you're going to check that. You're going to realize that um, they have uh, some network um, codes. I'm gonna to try to go over there now. So I'm gonna go over there now to show us what 
we uh, expected to see. So we have um, our mobile network to be 01, 02, 03, 04. You understand? Then the amount to be 100, the mobile number, which is what we, we've already seen, to be that. Then um, the other thing that, that says the request ID, the request ID will be provided by the software, which is the VBP. You understand? So the VBP will provide the so the um, the request ID, so you don't have to concern yourself with that. Understand? So uh, as you can see on their page, the request ID is kind of important for for uh, for querying, I think, or something like that. I don't know. But from one of their explanations here, it seems that we can still do without the request ID. You understand so you can try to do that request id at first if it works fine but if not please do what is necessary and um try to follow what i'm going to do now so what i'm going to do now i'm going to do with request id so so that we can understand um know what that means so that we can also do the needful to avoid um troubles later so as you have seen there like I said, that we, we, we are going to be implementing the request ID and everything. So what we need to do right now is very simple. So I'm just going to adapt this um, one you are seeing here to exactly what you have copied from Nellobyte. We are going to be adapting this to this. Sorry, I was... Need to... um, with that being said, we're going to make it simple here. So... I'm just going to be replacing what is needed to be replaced. So your um, club connect is ID would have to be here. You understand? CK123, something like that. Then your API key would have to be here also. Blah, blah, blah. It can be as long as whatever. Then um, the most important things apart from your login credentials are what is a network code that's going to be here. And I think I've shown us the other time um, we've seen the network code, which is 0102 for each, each and every every network there. And we, I think we also have it here too. We also have it here. M10 is 01, 0 is 04, uh, 9 mobile is 03, and um, Ether is 02. Okay, fine. I'm still going to go back to that. But first, I'm just going to um, fix that, uh, fix the AP. The API URL for so that we know where we actually are going. So right now, the network code is this. This is the network code we have here. So we are going to be just be replacing this with the network code because this is the way the system will identify uh, what it is, what is there to replace. You understand? So then this also we having um, we will we'll go to the phone number. So this also will be replaced, you understand, as the number, other number you get. So the other number will be the same as we have it on the website. So you will be having the same other number on VBP, uh, on also on um, Club, Club, Club Connect. So that's what that means, so that you will be able to query the other. So then your callback URL definitely should be. Uh, sorry, um, there's something you are missing now. We are meeting, so you are meeting the amount. So it's very important, please. So that with with that now we are good to go. Okay. One last thing is the uh, the callback URL. The callback URL does not need any anything to be replaced. So you can just use your site. You understand now? Your site. Your site dot com you understand something like that so and that's all you need to do so we're just going to copy this and paste it here because we've, we've actually done what is needed to be done so um that's that for club connect then um you might be seeing api URL data club connect does not need that we don't need this for uh so you can either configure it or not configure it. Does not really make any difference. You understand? Does not really make any difference here.
does not really make any difference here so does not really make any difference here so you can either leave it this way or not so um in fact it's better it's better you just leave it leave it out you don't touch it so that you don't um cause problem for for the for the system you understand i don't cause problem for the system so it has to be this way so that the system can get that then this part too sh might not it's not necessary it's it's um it's a uh, field so but these two parts are very important because these are the things that would actually this the vbp software will actually um work on so when you check on the front end the front end would show you something like this you understand you're going to be seeing something like this MTN Glow 9 Mobile ETL. You can see that that's the same thing that we placed here. So these are very important for the system to identify. So the system can now use that to know, then send these codes to back to this uh, API URL for for proper um, doings. So now I said I was going to explain it more about this part very well. Now you can see there is a pipe. This is a pipe. These are the slash. It's not one. It's a pipe. So a pipe, the the, the pipe is doing two things. You get it's separating the network code. Also, it's separating the percentage deduction. You are going to be deducting from the user. So assuming you want to you are getting um, ethel at 96 naira from club connect you know then you want to sell on your own platform you want to sell at 98 naira so it's, it's it's all simple you can just put a percentage of how much you want to deduct from them so if they are buying hard worth of 100 naira so you will you'll be deducting 98 naira so the two percent i think the, the remaining part is two percent so the two percent is what will now be here you get so for mtn now uh, we um they will be purchasing at 98 naira for glow if i put one percent they'll be purchasing at 99 naira for nine mobile if i should put um four they'll be purchasing at 96 naira and um for if i put three they're purchasing at 97 naira so this applies to all apis you understand because that's how you are going to be able to deduct from the system which is the vp from the from the from the user's wallet that was the only way you you can actually deduct uh, from them you understand so it has been written here also has been written here also so you can just check below and uh, see how that should be filled you understand so now among the yeah this is another important part that i would like to um work on i'd like to show us because among the uh success code success code yeah among the success codes um 100 was picked why though that's not the only thing that is there that's not the only thing that is there but with 100 why because 100 is unique 100 is very unique 100 is very unique so you can see that there are status codes for everything but 100 is unique to um to be able to say okay this order has been received so that's the way to actually get a a a, uh, a successful order you understand it's successful that way to get a successful order so i think that's has been said that's why we picked um success code to be what 100 i'm just going to save that because we've just configured um uh, club connect api and um you are just good to go right now with anything you want to do you understand so you are you are good to use the api like there's no tomorrow so i think that's summarized the club connect api so i'm just going to um 
we'll go on to the next video showing us some other apis um the data api the um billings api that was um for electricity and then um, for cable tv so um just just for your information just to let you know just for you to know whichever you prefer uh we will be creating more videos to um, show how you can integrate other apis just send us a message of the api you want us to make video on i'm going to make video on it so that you can integrate so that we, we will show you how 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 you can integrate it with um vbp so vbp is that flexible it's very flexible to use that's why we we we, we, we created it so we want um the success of everyone you know god in his infinite mercy he, he, he is great you know he is very great so we, we we tend to also impart lives with that so thank you once again and um, if you have any question you can drop it on the set comment section below or you can contact us our number is in on the dis um, description of the video so thank you very much have a nice day